And what about you? And in this one here, we're going to look at a few of these wee pressure transducers here. These are the wee cheap Chinese bios that you get on eBay for a tenner. And can we get them to work? On a vantage. So this is wee Vantage Pro here, and I'm sure you're familiar with that. So if we go down to lab scope, uh, we see we have pressure settings here. So if we go back up to graph meter there. There we go, 100 PSI pressure. So we'll hit yes for that. And what happens is, so, it's wanting to calibrate there, but what happens is that this uh, this connector at the top, this auxiliary connector at the top, let's get you in the focus there, that outputs five volts, and uh, it outputs five volts on a, on a couple of pins, I think, but uh, the pins that I found are pins one and five, so I'll just put that back away in there, and I'll just show you that. On the voltmeter. So let's see if a pin one and five we get five volts. So you can see that. So there we go. Now that uh, it's a nine pin connector. It's a bit like the one like the type you would get on a on a computer. There's only nine pins. So what that uh, is for is for a pressure transducer, the snap on one, and uh, we'll have this type of connector here. If I can get that in the shot, this type of connector here with the, the spring retainer to hold it in. So I had a wee look about to see if I could get one of these connectors. This here is for uh, what they call the RPM sensor. So. How do we look at eBay? And there we go. MATDS09S, and the names for the nine pin with a slide lock. Uh, MB, and that's a couple of quid. And the wee nine pin connector is that's it there. Nine pin serial uh, connector, male, female, solder type. And you pick whether you want the male or female. And that's one pound forty nine. So, uh, three pound fifty there, and a bit of three core wire that I had lying about. So, what I came up with is, I don't know if I can find it here, is this. Let me see. Here we go. So there's that connector with three nine pin, jobby, and we we'll have. A red and a black in there on the pin one and pin five, and uh, that's our our signal out with a four mil banana. Lot. So what we're gonna do and connect this in here fits quite well, and our signal wire then goes to channel one. So there we go. So we'll just get that voltmeter out of the way there. There's wires everywhere with these. Experiments. So this is just an experiment. This is just to see whether I, could, I, I would work or not. So what's that in there? And that's a 300 PSI. It says on it. So we'll click that in there. And we'll ask it to calibrate. And there we are. Now, I'm doing a bit of mocking about with this. It doesn't really zero. And it goes to 0.26 there. On the 300 PSI. So that's a 300 PSI one there. I'll get you in the focus, 300 PSI. I'll get you back on that again. So if I uh, blow into this, there is a bit of activity. I'll give it a suck. So yeah, uh, it does do something. It does, does, it does actually work and uh, I'll just change that to the, there's a 200 PSI. 
But what I've found is that just swap them over there. That's what I was doing there. So that's the 200 PSI one. Uh, there we go, 200 PSI. And I'll give it a bit of a blow. And a bit of a suck. Or is it going negative? So, yeah, what I've found, but is the, you know, the numbers are completely wrong. So, it's not much, it's not very accurate. Um, so I'll just show you these, um, I'll just show, I'll just show you these, uh, these wee transducers here on the Pico. So is it, is it a hundred PSI one there? And it's connected in, in lane with a, a wee boy there and you use for, uh, fuel pressure testing. So <clears throat> as I say, you buy these in eBay for, a ten, for 10 pound. So more than bucking about and you make this wee, wee box here that outputs five volts with a wee five volt regulator on it. So I've shown that before, and I put a wee switch on the side of it. So I'll click that on. I'll get you over to the Pico, the old Pico scope. So that's the 2204A there, plugged in channel one. And uh, I'll get you on that a wee bit better. So, there we go. That's sitting uh, more or less zero. So <coughs> I have a, I've one of these wee, wee vacuum pumps here. And if I stick it up to, let me see. I have to plug the end of it here with my thumb. If I stick it up to, uh, let me see, 20 inches of mercury. It's just about holding it. It goes down to that dotted line there that I have, I have uh, at 10 PSI there, which is about right. Now I have a video on the channel showing these wee, uh, wee, wee cheap Chinese pressure transducers and measuring it against an analog gauge. So that's quite accurate on the Pico. And the reason for that is because we've actually, I've actually put the settings in to suit those transducers that we got, I got off another YouTube channel. So back on the wee Vantage again. So is this any, any use to us? Now what I have discovered, the 100 PSI uh, range there with the 100 PSI um, pressure transducer doesn't calibrate at all. So I'll just show you that. So with that wee 100 PSI there, one, it's just, uh, that's it there. So that way 100 PSI one connected to the Vantage. And uh, if I put it on to 100 PSI pressure here, components loading and it wants to calibrate. It yes, unable to perform calibration. So it will calibrate on the other ones, on the two and the three, but uh, the options we have here are 100, 500 and 5,000. So I do have a 500, uh, so we'll change that over to the 500, but unfortunately the, the fit knot is, is bigger than the other ones, so it's not really much use there, but it is 500, so we'll pop that on. So uh, that's the only options there is on it. Oh, hold on, maybe, maybe if I go into uh, lamp scope. Yeah, 100 or 500 or 5,000. Yeah, so I'll go back, I'll go back up into the, in the graph meter. So with the 500 connected, component loading, that's the 500. And calibrating, it calibrates that, okay. Now, the only thing I have here to test this against a, an, a, a manual gauge, just for this test, because I'm just messing about. I haven't really uh, tried this in the real world yet. Uh, so I've just, I've just made this uh, wee thing up. So we're, we're going to put our, our vacuum gauge on to the end of that. And uh, let's get you in focus there on the numbers. So I'm just, I'm just holding it on here. It doesn't really fit this one. And... There we go, got it to seal. So I get it up to 20 again, and 
it does it goes to roughly the 10 there minus 10 psi so oh just lost it so i'm just holding it on there so there's the 20 it's near enough the 10. so it seems to work all right on the 500 accuracy wise so i might actually get a 500 and uh maybe uh, with the right fitting on the end of it and see so i had that I had that in the base there to do that so i just i just was holding the pipe on the end of it like that and uh got a bit of a seal on it so there we go that's uh that's that the only thing i will say with this thing uh putting out the five volts it's it does seem to drain the battery here right but on the on the advantage but uh yeah um what have i got there i've got a 300 uh i've got what's that that's a 200 so yeah it only gives it only gives uh 100 500 or 5000 so yeah the the wee the wee hundred it just won't calibrate it at all um so it, it does uh it does output something but uh it's not it's nowhere near it's a it's a made off accuracy wise so uh maybe maybe the 500 but uh yeah that's just food for thought and uh that's that connected in with a homemade connector and just a bit of fee core wire with the the signal wire and the channel one with a we so cost me a couple of quid to do that that we test and their existing transducer we cheap transducers that i had about anyway which i have used uh for fuel tests and stuff so there's no, there's no problem using fuel with these uh i test diesel pressure with them all the time so okay maybe that's food for thought uh or anybody out there has tried this before and had more success or uh knows how to change these or is there better sensors i know honeywell makes uh the, these style of pressure transducers and uh might work a wee bit better than these chinese ones uh i haven't really tried it on a, an end cylinder uh to see if you can get a waveform on the on the vantage and uh so that's it um anything else to tell you yes just uh this will work on a vantage pro uh, a modus or a verus so any of those three if you have them uh you can buy any connectors if you have a bit of time uh, a bit of three core wire and uh i just done a, a straight connection onto the wires that you get with the transducers that's just a wee a wee, a wee straight joint there and uh it's about wires about uh a meter and a bit long so there you go uh let me give you food for thought hope you enjoyed that and uh many thanks uh for watching uh, as ever and all the best and bye bye